Instant Pot Meatloaf and Mashed Potatoes is a delicious all-in-one family meal. Hi Mindful Moms and Dads, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but that doesn't mean it needs to be complicated. This recipe for meatloaf and mashed potatoes proves just that. You gotta love one pot meals. So let's put on our kitchen capes and make a delicious, easy family meal. To cook our meatloaf, we need to prepare a foil pan for our meatloaf so that it can sit on the rack and stay intact. What I do is take a piece of foil, and then take my inner rack and shape the foil around the inner rack. That way I know it'll fit on top of my inner rack. We can set that aside for the time being and start on our meatloaf. To a large mixing bowl, pour in one cup of panko breadcrumbs. If all you have is regular breadcrumbs, those will work. I just like that the panko keeps this meatloaf a little bit less dense. Add in one tablespoon of dried onion soup mix. I'm using my homemade blend. I'll link to the recipe in the description below. Add in one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoons of ketchup to further flavor the meatloaf. To bind the meatloaf together, add in one whisked egg, and finally, one third cup of low sodium beef stock. Rust me on the beef stock instead of milk. It's a game changer in the flavor of your meatloaf. Whisk that together really well. It's really important to mix all the binders for your meatloaf together before you add your meat so you don't overwork it. For the meat, I'm using one pound of lean ground sirloin today. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you like, but I do recommend that it's no more than 10% fat for this recipe. And then use your hands to mix the meatloaf so that you know you don't overwork the meat. Once it just comes together, take your meat mixture and plop it onto your foil pan and shape into a circular loaf and then head over to the sink and wash your hands well. For the potatoes, add in two pounds of red potatoes. They can be a little larger because we're going to cook a little longer thanks to the meatloaf. Pour in one and a half cups of vegetable broth or beef stock. Unless you have vegetable stock around, there's no need to open another carton. Just use the beef stock for your potatoes. Add in a pinch of salt and then place your trivet over your potatoes. We're gonna add our meatloaf on top of our rack and then we're gonna pop our lid on our inner pot. Be sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed. And then we're gonna cook on high pressure for 20 minutes. While our meatloaf is cooking, we're gonna whisk together our glaze because what's a good meatloaf without a glaze? Mix together a fourth a cup of ketchup with one tablespoon red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of brown sugar. It's the perfect sweet and tangy combination. Once the cook time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally for 10 minutes. So important so that your meatloaf doesn't seize up and get tough. Then you're gonna open up your Instant Pot. Be warned, your meatloaf may not look pretty, but it's going to taste delicious. The best meatloaf I've ever had was from a James Beard award-winning chef, and he shared with me his secret was to steam the meatloaf, which is exactly what we did with our Instant Pot. If your meatloaf has some extra liquid that's formed around it, you can carefully remove and drain over a bowl, and you wanna place your meatloaf onto a sheet pan, top it with our glaze, we're gonna pop it in the oven for three to five minutes to broil. While our meatloaf is broiling, I'm gonna mash up our potatoes. It's okay if they have a few lumps in them. These are essentially like smashed potatoes. For some additional flavor and richness, I'm stirring in one tablespoon of butter and a fourth of a cup of sour cream. That's a secret to really good mashed potatoes. Dish out your potatoes with a slice of the meatloaf and dinner is done. Looking for more all-in-one Instant Pot meals? Be sure to check out my favorites and get dinner on the table fast for your family. I'll see you there.